Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Infinitive OS ROM for Galaxy S3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, let's get started. This is Infinitive OS and what you just saw is the lock screen which is standard for any lollipop ROM. Now, what is this ROM? This is a ROM by a guy, uh, by some a few developers who are trying to get all the nice features from all the ROMs into one single ROM and it is pretty cool. It does have a lot of options and the stability isn't really affected in a lot much. So that's really nice. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, in the settings menu, in the about phone page, you can see it is Infinitive OS. Uh, this is the SKU. This is the version 1.2 which is nice I mean it's it's pretty cool and uh, we have a lot of stuff here uh, infinitive build it this is a build it all of that are working so yeah that is really nice uh, now I've been using this ROM for some time now and I really really like how much features they have crammed into this ROM now let's get into the extras now first of all and also layer support that is something which I really appreciate uh, I have been using layers in my Nexus 5 and it is really really cool it's basically a theming engine and this is the first time I've seen it implemented in an S3 ROM so you can see layers are natively supported so that is really cool let's get into the extra options now in the infinity world now now first things I first thing just I wanted to uh, give to them that uh, Anyone who has used Carbon ROM back in the days of KitKat, now this gives me that deja vu effect and it's a nice little throwback to the Carbon Fibers menu which was like this. I really like that so yeah. Now the first option is battery settings. In the battery section, settings you do have a few options like all of these. You can even have dotted circle in the battery for that. Uh, show battery percentage inside the icon, outside the icon. You also have battery bar location and battery bar enabler. You can enable that even with a charging animation if you have enabled that. In the status bar options you have a clock and date option and it has the kitchen thing into it. So it does have all the options which you will find in any popular ROM so you do have that. Network traffic indicator, you also have that options which will show an arrow and indicate how much traffic is going by there. Now the notification, you can see claim notification by shake. Now this thing uh, is something innovative, I guess, uh, no other ROMs has it. It also has a clear recent menu, uh, panel with shake, so that's also there. But what I saw is it does require a uh, system UI restart for these functions to work. I'm enabling them now and after the restart I'll show if they are working or not, so yeah. So let us see if shake to remove recent panel works or not. So yeah, it didn't work. It does work. So yeah, shake to remove just worked. So it does work. So volume mode icon, it also can, you can also even enable, disable the volume mode icon. Like I have just kept, kept it in vibrate and it's showing vibrate, right? I can actually disable this and next time it will not show the vibrate menu in the status bar so that is something there you can actually change that breathing notification carrier label double tap status bar to sleep brightness control by sliding across the status bar it's all there it's really nice I mean they are available it's not nothing special but they are available in a lot of other ROMs also so yeah infinitive logo which you are seeing there it is there headset icon notification ticker all of them are here in the buttons and uh, layout option you have you can enable navigation bar which is really cool double tap the navigation bar to sleep your device that's also really nice dimensions of the uh, navigation bar can be controlled here so you can control height to landscape height and uh, width all of that can be controlled in the buttons menu you can actually change what all appears here you can add stuff add custom applications a lot of stuff it's really really nice slim pie also is available you can see slim pie does work out it does work for a lot of people uh, it is really great for people who use it and I really appreciate that show arrows while typing on the navigation bar you can also have that menu visibility is the three dot menu which will be there you can actually enable that to show on request or always show or never show so that well it's 
there so yeah enable navigation ring you can actually see that navigation ring is enabled you do have targets for that uh, three of them to be so precise you can actually select three applications or whatever there which is really nice the, it also has slim dim which will dim the navigation bar uh, in so after some time like okay it has just gone dim so yeah in the QS tiles you can see that you do have a few options for uh, tile settings uh, I have actually enabled a few of them which I really like uh, it doesn't really have an ungodly amount of tiles but it is something uh, more well you can fathom that so it's really really cool you do have options here like a uh, kernel order ambient display enabler compass which i really pr personally like so you do have that uh, enable four tiles on row and large to first two row show brightness already if you don't want that uh, yeah advanced location slide quick pull down smart pull down and weather options are also available now the recent panel it does have a different kind of recent panel it does have slim recents which is uh really cool i mean a lot of people like slim recents but i personally do not have any attachment to it so in the slim recent you can see that you can actually change all of this it is available so this is slim recent also you can enable only showing running apps so it just doesn't show the recent menu it can only show running apps so that's also available now if you disable these these options have become relevant you also have a shake to clear option which i was talking about but it does require you to re re reboot your device so it does work so yeah slim reason you can also enable the expanded mode show left edge show talk most task most uh, most uh, allowed apps all of that can be customized from here app sidebar app sidebar is also enabled so you can actually have that so that's really really cool power menu also you can select what all options appear so you can enable all of that i have actually enabled everything so you can see everything is enabled animation controls you can control every aspect of the phone's animations like uh, test animation IME animation all of that can be considered and checked out from here so that is really really cool you also have three finger gesture for uh, taking a screenshot now app sidebar now app sidebar is actually circle uh, this thing I'm not really sure what's with the uh, name change so this is the circle drawer which was available in other ROMs you can have that so you can actually change customize everything in there so so that's really cool now you have an option called about infinitive where you can see what all the differences what are the nice things about it you can uh, go on and to their website uh, check out check them out Google Plus community downloads also you can also see that you can also have the change log so as to know what are the changes so yeah it's really nice you do have the option like that now on to layers now layers are is well what is layers layers is basically a theming engine and yeah one thing I want to talk about this thing developers if you are seeing this please do not include cell blast broadcaster in your ROMs because they were meant to be a good thing but they are not a good thing they are just used for spam right now so you can see I've gotten like 50 messages in like last two three five minutes so yes just that's just no that shouldn't be there so yeah back to layers now uh, you can also see the layers available on your device uh, I have actually installed a few layers I will be showing you guys what it is so I just installed a layer which is called a PS installer I have to install PS and it will be available here so you can see it is available here I can actually see this this is a zip file you can actually uh, get zip files from uh, various places I've also enabled in other layers I've also gotten another layers which is dingo which I'm not really sure where I found it but I will be looking for it you can also install that and it does work uh, there are a lot of stuff you need to reboot to actually get the layers to working so yeah I will be rebooting and showing as a boot animation in the meanwhile so here is one of the most basic boot animations I've seen in recent memory so yeah so as you can see I just installed the layers and uh, well you can see it's all colorful and all I have installed the PS layer package and yeah it works but honestly if you ask me I like the implementation of Silas and more theming features better because there are a few bugs like as you can see the uh, navigation buttons are not really well lit and all that but I cannot complain because it is a new old feature and it does work out so it's really nice so yeah so let's get back to the settings now uh, other options include basically whatever you would see in any other uh, lollipop ROM so you do have advanced settings like this which is uh, volume rocker wake all of that prevent accidental wake up by using the proximity sensor you also have that ambient display which does work out I really ap appreciate that uh, there is adaptive brightness live view display which is good for your eyes 
just use it so it's really nice uh, sound and notification option where you can actually select all of these functionality actually as I've already said this is basically what you would see in any other lollipop ROM so it's nothing special so I'm not getting going to get too much into that so yeah that's it in the settings menu now let's see the apps with which it comes I have actually installed a few apps because that was necessary to get the layers and stuff like that running so yeah and to the benchmarks I've installed layer manager you have to install uh, to get them to work because they won't work unless you install them and the setting menu there will not show up until you install layers manager so that is something there I've also actually flashed the gapps package so that I can install layers from the play store so yeah that's also there rest everything the apps are minimal I mean it doesn't even give you a file manager which I would have liked to see but uh, hey you can't complain when you get so much stuff so yeah I guess that much is it in the apps menu let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which is pretty good for a ROM with so many features so yeah So there you have it guys that is the score which I received this time which is 25,620 uh, last time I've tried it out it was lower than that so it's really cool I mean this is kind of indicative of how any other lollipop ROMs would perform and uh, to boot this does have a lot of features for it so it's really nice so yeah so I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, let me show you guys the uh, show you guys and talk about the battery life now this is one uh, way one area which I found to be very very bad I mean uh, I haven't actually flashed this ROM again for the review because I want to show you guys how my battery life was as you can see the phone was awake a lot I mean a lot and that is not something which is very uh, I mean it's not very positive I mean I'm not really sure why this was battle life is one area which I feel is something lagging behind in this ROM I need uh, this ROM needs to get battle life better for this to be a very good ROM for daily usage so yeah that's just there so yeah in conclusion what is this ROM now this does have a lot of features which is borrowed from other ROMs and it does implement all of that and it does work so I'm not against that but battle life is an area which I found this to be very very bad I mean yes it is bad and yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye and seriously remove this thing it's just, just bad